You'd think we'd have enough of each other being quarantined together. But we don't. Hashtag can't stop, don't stop. That's not the hashtag. I don't know. Uh, but we don't stop. Hey guys, welcome back to another quarantine vlog. I'm just gonna be real with you. This is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm serious. I, I, I feel like every other day or every couple of days, it's just like the quarantine blues where I'm like, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna play Animal Crossing. <laughs> And today is one of those days where I'm just not feeling productive. Like the most interesting thing that's happened to me so far today was I washed my hair. I'm currently trying to take advantage of no one seeing me and started washing my hair every other day. Super exciting, fun conversations times, right? So that's basically it. That plant behind me has new growth. End of vlog. Actually, I have a couple of friends texting me. Um, we're scheduling an Animal Crossing hangout date, so there's that at least. Just so relatable, buddy. I feel ya. So Kayla's favorite holiday is Easter, so even though we're doing all the craziness, we made sure we still had an Easter egg hunt. It's quite elaborate this year. It's usually not this big. Uh, it also helps that our house is a mess for the ear savers. So we just have like random pieces of furniture around <laughs> um, that make it a nice little uh, hunty. Hunty hunter. Yeah. Until she gets to the hard ones. I can't do that. I know. That is a hard That's one. That's half half the fun is trying to get up high. Little kitties walking around. Like, what are you doing, mom? I'm egg hunting, bros. It's real life animal crossing. Real life. Your animal friend who lives on your island came to say hi. Would you like a gift? <laughs> How you doing? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing Easter Switch, Animal Crossing. Yep. So it's the end of the day, um, or ending of the day. I mean, it's 7.30. 7.30, yeah. 8.30. Uh, this is a box ready to go out. Um, all of this are labels that we just put onto the packaging with how many that needed to go in them and then put them on our porch, which I can actually kind of show you guys. So this is the system that we're doing as a neighborhood to get these out and also so we don't have to touch each other. One neighbor is gonna be bringing hand sanitizer and we're gonna be setting it out there so everyone can wash before and after. Screen door, so I never, never open the door all the way. Um, but you've got all the addresses are sitting right there they grab a handful, they grab a bucket full of this, they use a scoop, and they grab the hair ties if they're grabbing hair tie orders, and then they fill them and drop them in their own mailboxes, or they bring them back and put them in here, and we'll take them to the post office. And that's been nonstop. Uh, so yeah, all the, all the orders here, you can see Gallifrey helps. He's, you know, sniffing, the sniff tester. Um, we have instruction labels that we put on orders um, in case we don't put them in the order on how to assemble them. <clears throat> uh, we just had dinner, which is all the frozen food we had left in our fridge. Because <laughs> we it got so late, we're like, we just want to eat food. And it's Easter, so everything's closed. Yeah, so every time we're like, let's do something, it's like, oh no, we weren't thinking. Don't worry, I pulled out meat for tomorrow though, so I'll make up for it. Um, but yeah, and out here in the garage, Worm Farm's doing great in case you wanted an update. Um, this is running nonstop. It's just going, 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 going. Smells like a nail salon, like a really, really strong nail salon. That's the acrylic. Since you guys don't have smell-o-vision, here's the laser. And this is what it's doing. So the, I'm using 
every bit of scrap that I had in the shop, which I think Kayla might finally have been right. I think I might have had too much scrap because there's no way I should be able to sustain how much we've done just on scrap. Um, but I think, I mean, it was almost like it was like, why would I have that much extra material unless we were gonna do something like this? It's just really, a lot of things had to line up for this to be able to happen. Um, and we were talking about this the other day that it it almost feels like it was like destined. And then we're not real big. I wouldn't say I'm uh, superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel about this where I don't think, I don't think this was, I think we got the lucky number. Are these my just desserts? Who are you? I'm so tired. Uh-huh. Yeah, it shows. Good. So guys, that is the end of a long day. Uh, we, I got Kayla this egg-shaped dessert from Costco, uh, which is part of her favorite flavors. So it really worked out. Um, and that's how we're ending today. We just got our, uh, the full four by eight sheets cut down. Kayla helped. She knows how to run a laser, guys. This girl right here is a laser operator. If that doesn't do it for your geeky boner, then you're wrong. Put it on my resume. Geeky boner inducing person. That's, that's now my official, summary. that's a title. That's it. Do you think that you can do that on Animal Crossing as though your title where you come in? Um, close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe something. Not, maybe not exactly that, but yeah. But close, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, good night. I know I'm talking from behind the camera, but Kayla, wave for me. Cool, that's me waving. It's carnage. The, the living room. All right, so we worked all night. We got another, uh, how many did we realize we can make at a time? 2,000, it's 2,673 sets comes from one four foot by eight foot board of acrylic. Yeah, and we're doing them in threes. Yeah, so we got another, yeah, roughly two and a half thousand sets done last night, or cut, and so they're processing this morning. And uh, we're shutting up now. <laughs> so this is amazing. This is the type of help that people have been giving us. It's Cadillac Coffee Company saw that we were working through the night and said, if anyone drinks coffee over there, we're gonna drop off some coffee. So they did and this showed up on our door this morning. Not only like last night, probably 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock I messaged, I saw the message finally. So I thought it'd be cool to to show, oh my God, it's just bags on bags. That's awesome, oh my gosh. There's so much coffee in here. Oh, thank you guys. If you guys see them, make sure you buy a bag just to say thank you, or write them a note on Facebook, or let them know that, you know, we appreciate this, and so, that's awesome. This is great. So does this mean I'm obsessed? I'm pretty sure that's what this means. But I'm like so excited about it. Look at all these work pages. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and the mess that is my office. It looks so bad. I just filmed this morning my Erin Condren um, new products video. So that's live if you haven't seen that. They have a daily coiled planner and I'm basically just gonna die happy now. Like that's everything I've ever wanted in a planner. Yeah, bug. It really is. Mess cat. Mess cat. So I think my plan now is to try and clean this up a little bit. I'm going to leave everything set up because it's, um, I'm trying to motivate myself to keep filming videos because it's been a really long time since I've done formal sit down videos. So if it's all set up, I might be more inclined to film a few more. I have some ideas, so that's pretty good, but Behind me is this beautiful gallery wall Alex and I have been working on. I love this. This is definitely the f my favorite like corner of the house. I just think it's so me and it's just so beautiful. So that open spot right here is for a shelf Alex is making me that the two little dolls of us are going to go on. So that'll fill in that area. But it's just so perfect. 
I have my old planners right here. I thought, you know, might as well put them in the planner room. My llama from Go Wild, all of the pins from all of the next boxes. Oh, I should put the next couple of ones on there. A little hello, my ears from Chicago Planner Conference, squishy, all of my little like obsessions are all right here. And then I put the star constellation of my dad's birth from friends back here, engagement photo, or wedding bouquet. I've had this forever. I bought it right when we started thinking about getting a store. I thought it'd look good in the store. It looks better here. And then behind here is that little painting I did with Alex before the quarantine like really set in. So I thought that would look nice back there. But I'm thinking about doing like a full tour since I rearranged all these drawers. So let me know if you're interested in knowing what's behind the cabinet. So why don't you guys just hang out here um, while I clean everything up. I hope the light doesn't get too weird for you because I know that window's pretty bright. But I have like piles that I just need to deal with. I just need to deal with this. Not gonna lie to you. I did drive 20 minutes downtown so I could cut stickers for myself for Animal Crossing. I'm mad obsessed. To the point that I think I'm going to turn my Japan notebook into my Animal Crossing notebook. I think I'll probably film a setup video just in case anyone's interested. But I've been here about an hour and a half already and I'm just getting started. Um, cutting some so I'm gonna make like character pages about each of my Islanders it's gonna make them nice and big so I just started printing this first one I wanted to restart before I got too far into it because silhouette tends to crash if I have too many files open so here we are I even broke out my laminator because I'm going to laminate two of these daily to do uh, lists of things you do on the island I'm gonna laminate them back to back and then put a coil clip and put them into my planner so I think I'll make a couple of them so I can send them to friends or something but it's so sinister guys just a big empty store with beautiful things that no one gets to see luckily I put a lot of stuff online but still it's kind of kind of really sad so one of the hello agains tagged me in a Julie's plans post on Instagram about how to take like an extra coil you have and make a little thing for all of your sticky notes so that's what I'm gonna do right now um, I have this like this this tool to cut the coil this guy to bend the coil all my sticky notes that aren't in my planners like I have a few that are in various planners but these are all my like extras so pretty excited about this all right so it was just like a photo, so I'm going to guess how it was done. Probably just put it on the coil and then see how tall it is and then cut it. So I'm guessing cut it here. So I don't have like a ton of varieties of the sticky notes, but I just think this is a really cool a little way to hold them. Brilliant. Brilliant, Julie. I have happily commandeered your idea. Also, you guys were going to be sitting on that side, but then I just put you over here. 
if you're wondering why there's a weird bee sign just on this desk. 